Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Maddie and today we're gonna be making homemade pizza. I showed me making a pizza for dinner and a ton of you asked for a video on the homemade dough and the sauce and just the whole process so I figured I would make this video I can't sit here and say I do not enjoy Domino's because I definitely do but we're gonna level up we're gonna make a little more of a fancy pizza if you will I mean you can top this any way that you want the main premise of this video is the homemade dough but I'm gonna show you the whole process so let's get into it. We're gonna start off by making our dough. So take a large mixing bowl and add two and a half cups or 380 grams of double O Tipo flour or all purpose. Add one and a quarter teaspoons or six grams of salt, two teaspoons or 10 grams of sugar. Whisk that all together. Now you're gonna take one cup or 245 grams of water and heat it to be 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Add in one and a half teaspoons of instant yeast. It's basically just one packet of instant yeast. Go ahead and mix that up and let it sit for five minutes until it starts to bubble. Create a well in your dry ingredients and go ahead and pour in your yeasty water. Using your hands, you're just gonna start folding the mixture together. This is a very sticky situation, so if you don't like getting your hands dirty, this may not be the recipe for you, but you're just gonna keep working the dough until you get everything semi-combined and then you're gonna dump it onto a clean work surface and just knead and knead and knead and knead. It's gonna be super sticky at first, but I promise it will start to come together and get really smooth and beautiful. It's a process. It probably takes like anywhere from like six to 10 minutes. It's honestly very satisfying to do this. Then I'm just going to shape it into a little ball once it's nice and smooth. Place it in a greased bowl, cover it, and then I'm gonna put mine in the fridge overnight. You can leave yours out at room temp for three to four hours if you want pizza that same day, but I'm gonna let mine rest overnight. Let's make a little simple pizza sauce. So I'm gonna take one can of San Marzano tomatoes, dump it in my food processor, add a little bit of salt, and a couple garlic cloves and then just carefully pulse this in my food processor. And I'm gonna cook it down a little bit because I don't like super watery pizza sauce, so I just let it simmer for, I don't know, maybe an hour. Now we're going to prep our toppings. So I'm using two kinds of cheese, fontina and mozzarella. Those are two of my favorite cheeses and I love them on pizza. I'm also gonna cut up some sopracetta. This looks very phallic, but it's very delicious. I love a spicy pizza, so I'm cutting up some Fresnos to throw on the top. You can obviously top your pizza with whatever you want, but these were my toppings of choice today. Now we're going to divide our dough into two separate balls just smooth them and make them look beautiful and then we're going to place them on a floured baking sheet and cover them with another baking sheet and let them rest for 30 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna make a garlic oil for the crust so I'm just taking olive oil, some Maldon flaky salt and some garlic. Okay, it's time to assemble our pizzas. So I'm just punching out the dough and trying to get a little bit of a crust. I am not the best at this. <laughs> I think my second one was a lot better than this first one. You're gonna use your cornmeal and flour mixture to help you so this doesn't stick. And I don't have a pizza stone, so I'm just using a baking sheet. If you have a pizza stone, obviously preheat that with your oven to basically as hot as your oven goes. Mine goes up to 525 degrees, so I preheated it to that temperature. I figured most of you don't have a pizza stone either, so I wanted to keep this simple and real. Obviously, if you have one or you wanna invest in one, this is gonna turn out much better for you, but you don't have to have one to make a delicious pizza. It still tastes really good. I'm 
just topping the second one with cheese and Fresnos, a little veggie pie, if you will. This first one turned out a little gnarly. The second one was much more beautiful. It had gorgeous air bubbles, gorgeous browning on the bottom, and just look at that like ooey, gooey, oily, cheesy cheese. It's time to eat some pizza. I'm decently happy. I feel like if I had a pizza stone, it would have turned out even better, but it still looks pretty freaking good, so. I feel like it would have turned out a little better with a pizza stone, so if you have one, definitely use it. But I figured most people don't have it, including myself, so I went no pizza stone. And I mean, it's not perfect, but it tastes pretty perfect, in my opinion. The cheese, the sauce, it has a little bit of crunch. Make this for yourself, top it with whatever you want, and let me know how it turns out. Maybe it'll turn out better than mine, but I still think this is pretty fantastic. I literally have therapy in three minutes, so. I'm gonna scarf the rest of this pizza, and then I'm gonna go get my mind right. Bye. That's all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful pizzas. Be sure to send them to me on Instagram. Pizza is one of my favorite foods, so I was really excited to make this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.